Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Fish Dimension. Today is Thursday, the 13th of September. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon, and the outer bands of Hurricane Florence are passing over my head right now. So, of course, we're going to go fishing. I'm curious to see what a hurricane does to fishing, uh, both when it's coming and when it's already gone. I could probably look that up in some YouTube videos, but I think I'm just going to go out and try some fishing myself. Find out. So we're probably going to do some bass fishing. Um, if, if that doesn't work out, if they're not biting, uh, we'll do some pan fishing. With the bass, I'm going to throw for the bottom, I'm going to throw for the middle of the water column, and I might even try throwing for the top if nothing else works. I uh, figure I'll go about as long as my battery lasts, and uh, if it dies, I'll recharge it with the spare battery and start over and do some pan fishing. I, I don't think it's likely I could get on crappy anywhere today. Uh, you know, I can't get out to any brush piles or bridges, and uh, on a day like today, I'm not sure they'd be there anyway. So. That's the name of the game today, bass. So let's get out to High Rock Lake and see what's going on. I know they've been uh, preparing for this storm by uh, letting a lot of water out of, the, out of the lake. So it's pretty low right now. And there's a train about to pass by. So I'll see you at the lake. All right, folks, we are here. The water level has been let way, way down lowest I've seen it since my second video. You can see here's the, uh, the deadfall that we normally fish pan fish around and it is uh, quite quite low at this point. I'm sure people have already uh, walked around and grabbed up all the, the free lures and everything but uh, we have limited time on this battery and it is time to start fishing so I'm gonna start out fishing the bottom, throwing the, the last thing I had tied on, my Wacky Rig Senko. I've got it uh, tied on with the little O-ring so that it stays more or less intact. And uh, we're going to see how we can do with that. So with these Senkos, there's a shad colored Senko, I'm just going to hop it back to me. It's kind of a slow retrieve. Water temperature is uh, somewhere, somewhere in the mid 80s still. That wind is uh, blowing constantly. I'm going to try to stay out of it so that the camera isn't getting it constantly. Face away from it. So, yeah, here we can see uh, outer cloud banding of the storm coming in mainly from the northeast over there. So we're going to see what it does to fishing. <clears throat> Hopefully something. So yeah, this was the last bait that I had tied on uh, the last time I tried bass fishing. Uh, just FYI, I actually have attempted quite a number of bass videos this summer and not a single one of them have panned out. I always wind up just resorting to something else because uh, I can't catch them. I don't know if my spots just suck or what. And I'm caught up on something already. I don't think I'm gonna get off of that. Nope, got it. Don't know what that was, but I got off of it. Man. You know, sometimes you uh, you think you got a good idea and then you head out and you just get this feeling like, uh-oh, this probably wasn't such a good idea. And I'm kind of getting that feeling now. Uh, I'm just not seeing much activity. I mean, it doesn't mean they're not there, but, uh, you know, I got my polarized glasses on and, uh, you know, all the interesting stuff is up here on the bank where... You know, that's what, where the water usually is, that's where the fish usually are. And uh, I'm not seeing mon much of any interest here today. As I'm looking into the water, I'm just, you know, I'm not seeing panfish, I'm not seeing bait fish, uh, certainly not seeing bass. So that's a bit of a shame. 
It's actually getting less cloudy and windy as I uh, stand here, trying in different places. Hmm. Is this uh, specialty selected? I'm not sure what that is. It's still wet. Okay, got something. Oh, yes. Got him good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got you, buddy. I don't know why, but it's always this spot where I catch him. Oh, man, that feels good. All damn summer. Nice little largemouth. Whew, that feels good. I love that the, the first bait I chose to use was the one that uh, that worked. Oh, well, he's about, a, I guess, a half, yeah, half a pound or so. Nothing too big or spectacular, but for the first bass I've gotten on since my lipless crank video uh, during the day in a video, uh, yeah, I'll take him. I'll take him all night and day. <laughs> right here if you know what I mean I might cut that out oh, I'm in a good mood now <laughs> so that is a nice little uh, high rock largemouth got him on a uh, wacky rig Senko using the, the little o-ring uh, shad colored and uh, about about 3 3 30 in the afternoon while a hurricane is blowing in so yep couldn't be more thrilled. <laughs> all right. Well, I, I could fawn over this fish all day, but let's see if we can catch some more. I'll let him go. Yeah, I'm letting you go. Don't worry. I'll close your jaw for you. All right. Last look at a very nice little largemouth bass from High Rock Lake here. Mm, that was fun. All right. Let's let you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, he wanted to go. Okay. Oh, man, that makes me happy. Okay, and we're back. Uh, obviously, I want to be using the same bait as the one I was just successful on, so that's a good look at the bait I'm using there. Uh, just very, very simple setup. Wacky Rig Senko, uh, shad colored. It's uh, white and blue with uh, blue and silver specks. Uh, you know, regular old bass fishing hook just tied on to 12 pound monofilament and you just cast it out there let it sink all the way down and then hop it back to yourself very slowly and uh, you'll feel the bite definitely that uh, that felt good all right so we're gonna cast this back out and try again uh, for uh, for the video information here I'm using my uh, Berkeley lightning rod it's uh, seven foot medium heavy with uh, my uh, Abu Garcia Pro Max here this is the uh, the 70 buck one that's been at Walmart like forever uh, this is the only big caster I own and uh, I, I think this is one of the first I, this might be the first time I've actually caught a bass on it in a video during well, any time all right, so where there's one fish, there might be more. So I'm gonna cast right back out to that, that zone out there. Now, I always see bass jumping over there in that spot, but I usually can't get to them because uh, I'm usually standing up there. You can see where the bank usually is and I just can't cast that far. But today, since the water's so low, I can. Oop, almost backlashed. I think my uh, line is a little tightened up on itself from, uh, from what just happened there catching a bass during a hurricane. Hurricane, not a hurricant. Yeah, it seldom, uh, seldom happens that I'm, that I do everything right on the first couple of throws. Uh, pick the right bait, pick the right way to move the bait, pick the right spots to fish. I just had a good feeling about this spot over here today. 
bad feeling about the fishing overall, but good feeling about this area right here. It's one of the reasons that uh, successful videos are kind of few and far between when it comes to bass fishing, because you really, with, with bass, you know, you never know when you're going to get a bite, so you really just can't, uh, you know, wing it and try to turn the camera on when, uh, when you get a bite, because that could even make you lose the fish, which has happened before on the channel. You go back to my first video if you want to see that. But yeah, so since you have to leave the camera running all the time, you've only got a, you know, until the battery uh, dies or you run out of uh, space on your SD card until you can't bass fish anymore. And then you either got to have a spare battery or a way to clear, you know, clear your SD card or both. So a lot of times I pretty much expend all my resources without catching a fish. And then, uh, you know, I'll try to use my spare battery sometimes, and if that fails or it gets too late and, you know, dark and I can't do it anyway, well, you're just out of luck. So that's why there's not that many bass videos on this channel. I'd like there to be, but that's just why it doesn't turn out that way all the time. So, yeah, let me show you how I'm, uh, how I'm working this thing here. So you cast it out like that, let it sink, and, uh, it's a good idea to let it just kind of sit there for a while, you know, you know, give the fish a chance to come around, maybe look at it. It's called letting it soak. So you just let it soak on the bottom for a little while. Uh, you know, some people let it soak a really long time, you know, up to, you know, 10 minutes or something. Uh, I let it soak a minute or two and then I start working it and I just do it like this. Just lift your rod tip up twice really fast that lifts it off the bottom and it gives it that nice little wiggle and then you let it sink back down and you do it again and you just keep and you know you keep tension on your line you reel down as you're doing it like this that way you can still feel a bite if it happens and you just keep doing that until you've got your bait you know back into yourself all the way or you know so close in that you don't want to fish it there anymore and that's how i just caught that fish i hope that wind's not interfering too much here i'm having to stand at kind of an awkward angle and sometimes you want to do that hop relatively fast you know like not let it pause too much in between and sometimes you want to do it relatively slow i got the impression today that they kind of want it fast so i'm hopping every uh every just every couple of moments Gotcha. <laughs> That's a slightly better one. Nice. Thought I felt something weird. All right, you need to calm down. Do not spear my hand. All right. All right, and I can uh, confirm by the jaw here that even though this fish is of similar size, it is not the same fish. <clears throat> I know that because uh, he doesn't have another hole in his mouth, I think. Yep, different fish. <laughs> well not often I get on a bass in a video it's really not often I get on two <laughs> I think the last time uh, last time this happened what it was the crawl trailer video ah, I couldn't be more excited though this guy's a little longer and a little thinner uh, but he is overall kind of kind of a bigger bass than the last one which makes me happy all right so nice another nice little uh, High Rock Largemouth, uh, during the early, early stages of Hurricane Florence, 
which uh, at this point I'm not even sure is rolling in anymore, but uh, it definitely seems to be improving the bite somewhat because I haven't been able to get on bass here like this in quite a while. That feels good. So there you go. Nice high rock lake largemouth there. Just about ready to go back, but he's going to have to do a little photo op first for fish brain and Instagram and uh, send it to my wife. Show her what she's missing. <laughs> That doesn't actually make me happy though. All right, photo op's over. Time to put this little guy back. I'm gonna do it as gently as the last time. Close his mouth for him. And uh, we might do a little revive on him here just because of the photo session, unless he's ready. Well, he was ready. Come on, buddy. Looks like I'm gonna have to work on my releases. Yeah, anyway. Awesome. All right, so my battery is about to die. I am fixing my bait. Uh, I've been using the same exact uh, little shag colored stick bait all day. And uh, the reason that I have been able to use it all day, even though I've caught two bass, is because of this little O-ring. So get yourself a little pack of those. You can order them uh, off Amazon, and I do believe they have them at Walmart now. They're cheap, and they save you money on uh, Senko style baits. So we're gonna go back out there, see if we can catch yet a third fish, or a third fish yet, rather. But, uh, you know, the video could end right now, and I'd be happy. Yeah, so so far it's looking like uh, fishing before a hurricane is a good idea. Uh, cooking out. It smells great. I should have ate before I came.